Julio Gonzalez ready for action, and he has packed a lot of action into his boxing career at age 32. 6'2", 174, 41 and 5, 25 knockouts. And let's look at his recent work. You know what happened against Woods. We showed you that. But recently, in February, against former champ Reggie Johnson, a very controversial loss. Most thought that he beat Reggie Johnson. It went against him. And there is Tavares Cloud, 18-0, 17 knockouts. And just watching him before the fight, he is really jacked up here for his Friday Night Fight debut. He's never fought past five rounds in his life. His only decision fight was a four-rounder. Shannon Briggs has the fight plan. Oh, man, this is a bomb burner right here, baby. For, from Gonzalez, he has to take the fight into the deep water. He got to see if this young man can really swim. He has to capitalize on Cloud's professional inexperience. If he can do that, he can make it a great night. As for Cloud, he has to be youthful and energetic. Show that youth. Set a busy pace early. Let the older fighter know that he's in with a young lion. He's got to set it off. It is a 12-round fight, and John O'Brien is the referee. Gonzalez and Cloud ready for action. First Mexican to win a world title over 154 pounds is Julio Gonzalez. This, this, this one here, Joe, man, this one here has got me on the edge of my seat. You know, this is a great division, and... Um, you know, this is actually the only division I'm watching right now. So uh, this this light heavyweight light heavyweight division is hot. So I'm really looking for this fight. Wow, great job by Cloud. What is it about the light heavyweight division, Shannon? When you just look through the names and the veterans, is it is it just the the fact that you got some guys that have been there and done that still hanging around with big names? It's crazy. It's hot. You got some great fighters. You got Joe Calzaghe, Bernard Hopkins, Tarver, Dawson, which are about to fight. A great fight with that. Clint Johnson, always durable and, you know, real professional. You got Roy Jones, of all people, you know, a superstar himself. Clinton Woods is still hanging around. You got a great vision. And let's not forget about Sean George from Brooklyn. Sean George, who defeated Chris Bird on Friday Night Fights. Both men opening up to Morris Cloud, digging inside. Gonzalez was able to end a left hook. But now you're getting a taste just a minute into the fight of exactly what we are expecting here. Wow. And you know what? Cloud, Cloud's looking real good already. And what I didn't like just now from, from Julio was he was on the ropes, and he looked a little lethargic. Then look, you know, that, that, that youth isn't there. You can see that early. Well, at some point... You can get old real quick in the ring, and we will find out at what stage of the career Julio Gonzalez is in tonight against a young, unbeaten power puncher in Cloud. Yeah, Julio's got to take him to the deep wood. He's really got to look, you know, try to extend this kid past five rounds, which he's never been. And if he can do that, you know, he has more of a shot of, uh, you know, winning a decision or stopping him late. You just look at Tavares' Cloud, and you can see... What an athlete he is, 5'10", 174 pounds, but such a big upper body and well-defined. You see where he generates that power, and there it is, the right hand from the young unbeaten Cloud. And now he jumps all over Gonzalez, the veteran looking to survive here against the young Tiger. Tiger for real, look at the trunks. He did Tiger lion. Nice head movement, too. He's coming in, but he's coming in smart. He hurt Gonzalez, but he's still coming in smart. Coming right after it. I'm so glad I'm not a light heavyweight. <laughs> Bombs away from Tavares Cloud. Stay off that head. Julio showing that ex experience. Still punching back. You know what I'm saying? Not tying up. Exactly. He should be, but showing that experience, taking a great shot. Right hand splits the guard with some thunder from Cloud. A big round in his national TV debut to Forrest Cloud. Joe, look at this right here. That was that was just Cloud jumping in with a left hook, lead left hook, catching him. Great right hand after that. Really applying that pressure, showing that youth right there. Joe Tessitore and Shannon Briggs in for Teddy Atlas, who's at the Olympics with you in our main event from Chicago. 
fast start here to Voris Cloud, who's already ranked in the IBF and the WBO at 175 pounds, but taking what is perceived to be a step up in class against the veteran former titleist Julio Gonzalez, a dominating first round from the young unbeaten to Voris Cloud. The headshots in the last round, 25 to 6 in favor of Cloud. He had a 31 to 11 connect advantage overall. I like, I like that right there. I like Cloud using that jab. Although he hurt Gonzalez in the first round, don't forget about the jab. You know what I mean? You're a young fighter. The jab should right, be right there. It could possibly sell. Swell Julio, Julio up for the late round. What does Julio Gonzalez need to do to settle down this pace here? He's, he needs to use the jab himself, honestly. He needs to box his kid. He's a banger. We all know that. He's a tall guy who fights like a short guy, but not with this guy. This guy's young. He's strong. He needs... He's got to keep him away. He's got to keep this guy on the outside. He's got to use that jab, man. He has experience. This is the time to use it. Work, work. Fight, fight. Ho. Let's work, guys. Gonzalez working well now on the inside. That's those elbows. Keep him up. Julio showing in the past that he loves that left hook to the body. And again, he's tried it a couple times. But um, I, I, I personally, as it's, if I was in his corner, I'd be telling him to concentrate on that jab. Able to slip that right hand from Cloud. Tavares Cloud, you know, we noted in the pre-fight introductions that he was so jacked up. I mean, when that opening bell came for this big moment of his career, he was so cranked up and he just let it all fly at Julio Gonzalez. There he comes with the lead left hook. Now a right hand comes in. Boy, when he brings it, he really brings it, doesn't he? And he should be bringing that right up the cup because that's good for him as well. After that right hand and left hook, there's a, there's a, there's a great opportunity for a right up the cup. And body work, perfect. You heard a guy to the head, you want to go to the body because he's expecting a head shot. Right hand to the body, then he comes in with a left hook, misses with the right uppercut. He's a thunder puncher. Look at him. He loads up on those on those cannons and let him go, man. You gotta love him. Jab from Gonzalez now, the right hand. More consistent work now from Julio. But the veteran knows that there is danger in that right hand of Cloud. Cloud trying to put him in the cloud. Now he should be going to the body, Joe. This is where you want to go to a body. You heard a guy to the head, you know what I'm saying? You want to go downstairs. Because the body doesn't move. The head moves, but the body doesn't. So Julio Gonzalez started off fine, but it's Cloud finishing up strong in his second round. We were very curious to see what Tavoris Cloud would look like in a spot like this, a main event on Friday Night Fights against the former world titleist in Julio Gonzalez. Early on, you have to say you're impressed. The question is, can he keep things up for this long? It's a 12-round fight. He does not have experience going past five. He has not been in against the class of somebody like Julio Gonzalez. Shannon Briggs' best win was a TKO win last August here in Chicago over Jose Luis Herrera. Herrera went on to TKO Aaron Williams, but this is a step up against Gonzalez. No, definitely, Joe. And you, you, but the truth is, you know, Gonzalez stood up to two heavy rounds of bombs. So if he can, you know, take him into round six, round seven, after withstanding that, what will happen there? He just got hit by, the, by a big left hand, but he, again, he has a great chin. Look at him. You know what I'm saying? He's still in there, digging deep, uh, you know, and not really showing that he's discouraged by being hurt early. Oh, this is a guy who's been in there with some of the best that the game has produced in the last 15 years. Remember, he won a fight on Friday Night Fights way back when against Mr. KO Julian Wetterlow, getting up off the canvas three times. And, but the only thing that bothers me is the fact that he doesn't seem like a big puncher, although he has that experience. He's a tough as nails guy, but he doesn't have a big punch, which he may need to kind of really discourage uh, Cloud, especially if it takes him to the deep round. Right here, Cloud should be jabbing. He's busting him up. Julio's swollen under the, uh, the left eye. He should be using that jab. And not really waiting. There's that jab from Cloud. You gotta love it. Joe is that you look at a guy like Cloud, the way he's built, uh, you kind of expect him to get tired later. But uh, if he can withstand that, and we will see tonight, if he can withstand that punch rate, 
I think we, we may have a future, you know, champion, if not top contender, because... Well, who knows where we're going to get down the road, but I will say this. If you're a fan sitting at home, sitting on the couch, and you've been watching the game, looking for a young power puncher that you can latch on to, let's see what develops tonight. Here's a guy that you already know is entertaining in front of watch, regardless of what the outcome is. For sure. Looks good. You know, looks well, looks in great shape. Big puncher. Wow. There he is again. That big left hook that he shot off. And, 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 and it definitely looks good to the crowd at home. There's a glimpse of when he makes that decision to really load up. Here he comes now. So he flicks the switch there. Right now, if I'm Gonzalez, man, I'm getting off those ropes. This young boy, he looks real strong on the ropes when he backs him up. You don't want to be there. Julio Gonzalez in a national TV debut against Tavoris Cloud. Alongside Shannon Briggs, who's in for Teddy Atlas. Teddy's at the Olympics. I'm Joe Tessitore. You've tuned in to a very interesting main event here on Friday Night Fights. Julio Gonzalez and the young, unbeaten slugger, Tavoris Cloud. The first three rounds on Shannon's scorecard go to Cloud. In that last round, he landed 35 punches, his most productive so far of the night. And he had Gonzalez hurt in the very first round. And Gonzalez is an extremely capable veteran who, yes, he's put on miles on that odometer, but he knows how to handle himself. Handle himself. Let's work. But, Joe, you know what? For the first time in the fight, I've seen Kyle take a step backwards. So uh, I want to see what's going to happen now. Well, keeping up that pace is going to be a challenge for Cloud. Now, has hands. never been past five rounds and has only been into the fifth round once. 17 knockouts and 18 wins. And he's loading up. He's loading up on the big shots and uh, meanwhile Gonzalez is working. Great, great clean, great clean. Let him go, let him go. Let's work, guys. Julio Gonzalez, veteran of 41 wins. Most recently coming off of a controversial split decision loss to Reggie Johnson. Won the WBO title against Darius Mikoshevsky back in 2003. Been in with Roy Jones, defeated Glenn Johnson, who would go on to win a light heavyweight title. Had a technical decision win against Chicago's own Montel Griffin, who of course was a titleist. Julio's been... He is getting real active right now. He's peppering them with little shots, hitting them with the jab. And again, Cloud's loading up. You know, he's loading up for that big shot. And there's that left to the body by uh, Julio. And another right hand. Here on the north side of Chicago, and Cloud with some of these swings, looks like he's trying to hit one out of Wrigley. <laughs> for real. Watch those heads. Red Sox and White Sox Watch in town out, this weekend, as are the Cubbies and the Cardinals, first place teams here in Chicago. And of course, it's the weekend of the Arlington Million Horse Race, so a big weekend of Chicago sports that starts off with Friday Night Fights. Good work on the inside from Cloud. Yeah, and I see something, though. I see something, Joe. You know, he's peppering them. He's peppering He's just touching them. And, 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 and you learn that early. You learn that actually. You learn that early. In your career. Just keep, keep touching a young guy. Good things will come of it if you keep doing that. We'll see if they come for Gonzalez after this. Uh, check this out. You gotta love Gonzalez. He's a veteran like myself. Up oh, right there. There's that little forearm elbow. Boom. Left huh. hook to the body. He just sneaks that in. That little chicken wing in the midst. That's what the veteran guys do. They know how to get away and cut every corner and make something happen like that. And knowing where the referee went to do it. Oh, yeah. Referee gets on the backside. Take full advantage of it. That's right. Julio Gonzalez, after being hurt in the first round, he has put forth a very strong output. He has thrown over 100 punches in each of the past three rounds against Tavares Cloud. The problem is, is that Cloud's punches that are landing are so much more effective. He's landing the harder punches. There are the total punches as Cloud with the higher percentage landed. A 127 and 92 edge and counting here according to our punch track numbers. 
very much. He's much more of a bigger puncher, you know, uh, those, those crowd pleasers. But again, this is playing out just like we kind of thought, Joe. Uh, you know, looking to take it to the later rounds and see what happens then. See if crowd can be that real professional if he's ready to take go to the next level. Tried to catch Gonzalez coming forward that time as he fired off a hard right hand. Now back to the jab for stop, both stop. men. Punches up. Punches Gonzalez up. being warned after Let's that go. right hand straight low. He's just flicking that jab looking to set up that right hand. Let's right. get back to the right concept clean. Right clean. of just touching the guy. As you say, the veteran of Julio Gonzalez thrown over 100 punches in the last three rounds. It's just touching the guy, just touching right. the guy, just touching the guy. Right. But it's sort of like a baseball pitcher. You throw certain speed, off speed, off speed, and then you bring something a little different. Definitely, Joe. You, you, you said it at the beginning of the, of the fight that uh, Devorah's cloud, he was really amped up. So what happens is this, that's, that spends a lot of your energy early. So the guy like Gonzalez can just keep touching him, stay in the fight, take him later around, keep peppering him. A young guy gets frustrated. I was there, it's happened to me, so I know what it's like. Right, now I'm on right. the other side of the table. I'm right. the older Watch guy the head, looking to Let's take work. those young boys into the late rounds and then ground them. You started your career, Shannon Briggs, 25 and 0 before your first loss. And you had great success, obviously, after your loss, fought for the world title against Lennox Lewis, eventually won a piece of the world title in 2006. But you know exactly what it's like to be a well taught guy. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's he's hurt. hurt. He's hurt. The he's second hurt. time. He started with a left to the body. He started with a left to the body. He threw that body shot and hurt him. Oh, and yeah, there's a right, right hand from Cloud. Uh -oh. A left right. hand, and it staggers Gonzalez back. Cloud looking to finish it off, but only 18 seconds left to work here. Big right hand. How did Gonzalez stay up there? Isn't wrapping up at all. Looking for a way to hang on here in round five. The young, unbeaten prospect trying to finish off the veteran and former titleist. He survives the round. Julio Gonzalez steps forth. Scheduled for 12, round number six, the first time that Tavoris Cloud has ever gone into the sixth round of a fight. 17 knockouts among his 18 wins. His lone decision was a four-round decision win. So new territory for Tavoris Cloud. However, a familiar setting in having your opponent hurt. Our main event on Friday Night Fights, Gonzalez and Cloud. Can the former titleist somehow find a way to survive the power punching of Tavoris Cloud? Shannon Briggs scorecard, a 10-8 round in round number five, 50 to 45. And keep in mind, Gonzalez also hurt in the first round. Cloud in complete control. Fires back with a right hand. Little shoulder turn and comes back with the right hand. Yeah, that's cute. You want to love that. And a big sweeping right hand. And now underneath to the body. home against Gonzalez. Yeah, uh, the, the Julio's legs not looking good right now. He doesn't look good at all. Not and at now all. there's 90 seconds left that he has to deal with. Remember, there are only about 30 seconds left when he had to survive that last round. Now he could be Gotta taking a beating back. down the stretch of this sixth round. Yeah, he's a little weather beaten, man. You Gotta can tell. Back. You know, he is took his mark, man. But um, he's still trying. You gotta love him. He's still trying. But uh, you can see the youth, the tiger and cloud, man. He's a beast. Right now, I'm sure people in Tallahassee going crazy. Wow. Big right he hand. He just Big absorbed right the right hand that would put down any other fighter. Julio Gonzalez, what a chin. John O'Brien, the referee, may be taking a look here. To Forrest Cloud, just raining down shot after shot. Cloud is a beast. Right heavyweights, be quick. Got to work off those ropes. Julio Gonzalez, they're giving him the benefit of the doubt. He's been in with so many legends of the game time and time again. He's still throwing back. Look at him. Now Cloud opens up again. He'd be well served to go to the body here. He's been headhunting. 
the last few exchanges. Look at Gonzalez. What is he made of? Still working on the what inside. What is he made of? Man of steel, Gonzalez here. He absorbs the punishment and survives another round. Dijo, que tienes que tener, si no tienes que tener, this guy ¿eh? Cloud is a beast. Abajo, arriba, Bam, look at that right hand, right on the button. I don't know any man, heavyweight, I don't care what you are, can stand up to a right hand like that. Julio's a hell of a man, man, tough dude. Julio Gonzalez, former white heavyweight title, is looking for one more run. Three rounds tonight where he has been hurt against Tavares Cloud, including the last two. Rounds in which you question whether or not he could survive, and here he is in round number seven against the Florida-based prospect, Tavoris Cloud, who is going to become a very, very popular fighter if he continues with this kind of production here tonight. The power puncher makes for exciting fights, dominating, obviously, Shannon Briggs' scorecard. Gonzalez has never been taken out in his career. Cloud's a kid I could definitely see. I don't know about you, Joe. What do you think? A guy I could definitely see up there in a couple more fights up there with the big boys, with the Calzaghi. Yeah, I think I think there's still a lot of things that need to be added to his arsenal. He needs to be well-rounded, progress through the ranks, and be tested against others. But it's a very thick division at light heavyweight. And there is some young talent balanced off with the older veterans that we have, but it'll be interesting to see what happens in the future of Tavoris Cloud. I'm just interested to see what happens in these next few rounds to see if Julio Gonzalez can mount any sort of a comeback. There were moments in the last six minutes of this fight where you thought, well, maybe the fight could end at any second. Right. And here he still is, and obviously the pace is now slowed from Cloud, but when Cloud turns it out offensively, it's like an avalanche. Strafing attack, fusillade of punches to the head. If I had to say anything to Patrick Cloud, and here he comes. <laughs> here comes the train. If I had to say anything, you would have to, I'd have to say he doesn't move his head enough. You know, I like to see him, you know, moving that head a little bit, in which would kind of really set up bigger punches as well. Kind of like what Mike Tyson used to do. Bob to the side, left, right, and then shoot up something, especially with his big punches. But the potential is there. The foundation, the raw talent, the athleticism, and obviously the power. And the want the natural go, aggression is there. And he's showing against a real veteran tonight that, you know, he's ready to step up. Who has a chin. Hands free, hands free. Let him go. Although, uh, Joe, it seems like he, he doesn't really have the, the pro experience, 18 wins, 17 knockouts, not against great competition. You can tell he, he does have some experience in that. You can probably pick that up from the amateurs. Cloud taking this round off a bit, Shannon? I think so. I think so. We are, you know, again, he's looking to land that big blow. He should be jabbing. He should be busting him up with the jab because a guy like Julio will take advantage of a, of a guy slowing down. Five rounds to go, Gonzalez and Cloud. And here you, here you see Cloud right here, Joe. He's coming in. Great leverage on his punches. Geek, right on the point. Right on the button. Right away on the target. Seconds out. Geek, let's go. right there. Touches the button, man, every time. Great leverage, great accuracy. I'm very Morris Cloud, 18 and 0, 17 knockouts. He has impressed us so far. Had Gonzalez hurt in round one, five, and six. We asked the question in the last round, did he take that seventh round off? Let me give you the punch track numbers from that last round. Up easy on Shannon's scorecard. He was 14 of 47. 14 punches landed, 47 punches thrown. Both low numbers for Tavoris Cloud so far tonight. This is one of those fights to me that Teddy used to tell me about when he trained me many, many moons ago, where a, vet, a young guy steps up against a veteran, and the veteran, you know, sees if the kid's ha if he has it. And right now, Tavares is showing that. Again, I like to see more jabs and more head movement, but, you know, he's right there, man. He, he's very impressive in great shape. I thought maybe he tied after the fifth round. He's never been, in, you know, past the fifth round, but he's showing great condition in the corner. Jab. Gonzalez 
feeling much more sturdy on his feet now as Cloud has allowed him to take that comfort in gathering himself after being hurt in round five and in round six. And this is exactly where I wanted Gonzalez to be and where he would want to be in the late rounds, taking a guy like that. Listen, I'm an older fighter. I'm 36 years old. I'm fighting a young cat like uh, Tavares. I'm thinking, you know what? I got to let this guy make a mistake. He's a young cat. I got to let, let, let him make a mistake and uh, take advantage of it. And this is the time now. Pass, pass round five. It's an elbow now. Look at that elbow right there, John. He's ready to shoot it off. That infighting is where Gonzalez can come up with some of that stuff and take advantage of the veteran moves. Draw me up a scenario, Shannon, where Gonzalez can turn things around here. How would he do it? Wow. It's going to be tough for him right now. You know, this young boy is showing some real heart, some real strength. He's not, he's not, he's, he's not looking like he's on a fold, you know what I mean, but that can change around. I like what he's doing, he's being consistent, he's peppering up with little shots, but again, there's that body shot. Oh, it's a very, very, very fine body shot. And you can see the right hand, that elbow. and he hurt him with the right hand as well. You can see the right hand drop down. And I was really thinking coming to the fight that would be Julio's big weapon, but Tavares has really showed that he has the left hand to the body as well. This is the kind of fight that can be so taxing on a veteran fighter when you take a lot of punishment over an extended period, as is the case of Julio Gonzalez standing up to the headshots and the power punching of the young slugger Tavoris Cloud. Coming to the end of round eight, scheduled for 12. Shannon Briggs, you say that the light heavyweight division is your favorite. Well, here are some of the guys in it. And you think maybe Tavares Cloud, if he comes out of this tonight with a win, eventually can work his way into this group? Definitely, Joe. I think he's two or three fights, maybe five away. I mean, actually, yeah, two or three, he's ready to jump into, you know, something heavy like this. This is a great division, man. The road to the riches right here, baby, in the light heavyweight division. I'll tell you, that is, that's got a lot of depth to that division. There would be some serious, serious tests for a guy like Cloud going up against some of those names. Yeah, but he knew that tonight, and he bought his can. He bought his can with him tonight, so... Uh, you know, I think he, I think he's uh, well prepared, tra trained by Alvin Andy, great uh, management behind him, and uh, we, you know, like they said, we moving him right, we moving him to the title. Right. We will see. Right. We will see if he can get through right. these last four rounds. Thought that he was going to close the show in round five and six against Julio Gonzalez, but the veteran, former titleist, has stayed in there so game, so tough, and has continued to produce. Good right hand by Julio. Good overhand right. The 39 to 19 connect advantage in the last two rounds. And for the first time, Cloud's actually uh, doing a little boxing on the outside. I love a that different jab look to the body. from the slugger. Yeah, definitely. And I love that jab to the body, you know. Something that uh, Floyd Mayweather has made really popular in this career. There's a right hand to that left eye that is swelling. Shopping right hand. I think personally, I think now there's a decision that's odd. It's not. Just tying up on the inside for a moment there, rather than letting the weather go. From over the cloud? Yep. Yeah, he, right now, he should be throwing that right. I was just going to say, Joe, he should be throwing that right up to cut on the inside because Julio's been the right in the middle for it, especially after he hurts him. There's that right hand to that swollen left eye of Julio Gonzalez again. And I thought he was hurt off that last shot. This fight, honestly, Joe, this is this, is, this will help him more than actually stopping Julio because a fight like this, you know, I was a guy who had uh, 25, was 25 and 0, 23 knockouts, and it was it was my inexperience that actually cost me my first loss. You know, um, this is a good fight for him. He needs fights like this to take him into deep rounds, so he knows confidence-wise that he's prepared when he has to go those 10 rounds in a 12 round fight. Watch that head. Break, break, break. First 12-round fight of Watch your career head. was the controversial decision against George Foreman back in 97. I didn't did I say uh, controversial? Uh, I You're I a big man so. standing very uh, close to me. I, 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 so. <laughs> I said controversial. Oh, Everybody on, said man. controversial for 11 years. I'm not going to say it. Uh, come on, baby. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, that was for the linear heavyweight championship, so let's just set the record straight. I didn't say anything about that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that all you want. Okay, cool. 
So getting a good look at Tavoris Cloud as he stretches himself here towards round number 10 against Gonzalez. Tavoris Cloud from Tallahassee, Florida. He may have a better year than Florida State. Sure. Round number 10 here of our main event. And just to get you up to speed, if you're just joining us, Cloud is an undefeated power puncher who has taken a step up here against the former title of Julio Gonzalez, and he came out rocking him in the first round. Had Gonzalez hurt in the first round. Kept up that pace. Then in rounds five and six, looked like the fight could end at any moment as Gonzalez was hurt, but Gonzalez has been in there tough against so many world-class opponents, and he survived both rounds. And then since then, Cloud has come off the gas pedal a bit. The pace has slowed for Cloud. And look at the punches and what he did in the first hands six three, rounds compared three. to the last three rounds. And you can see his output has dropped off. Now, he's never been past five rounds, so you had a feeling that he would have to deal with that, and that has been the case. But still in control here. I think what's going through Cloud's mind right now is that is this young, is this older guy, this veteran, trying to have me punch out, punch myself out. Now, I think that goes through the mind of a young guy, especially with a guy heads, who has 17 knockouts out of 18 wins. Right, you know, right, he's always right, thinking, right, this guy's trying to get me to punch myself out, and he's going to come on. So I think some, and somewhere in his mind, maybe you know that's the reserve. Great right hand. Comes back with another right hand. Gonzalez thrown off balance, so off to the right side for a moment. And look at Julio. <laughs> Nothing stopping him. And throwing back. And, and throwing back, right. He's on right hand. I mean, this is what a veteran pro guy who has fought at the top level does. They conduct themselves like a professional. They do what they are programmed to do. But this is the kind of fight that you worry about in terms of long-term health. Definitely. Absorbing a lot. Definitely. The eye is swelling. He's taking a lot of head shots. And this is the kind of fight you worry about an older guy with. Definitely. Gonzalez trying to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with a younger, stronger, more powerful Tavoris Cloud. Right hand comes in. Cloud should be going to the body. Maybe this would have ended a lot earlier had he went. Oh, another chopping right hand. And Julio him. looks to hold on for a moment. Tavoris throws him back. Big right hand comes in, and this fight is over. You could see it coming. You realize the punishment that Gonzalez was taking. He's a tough, tough guy that would have stood in there every step of the way. And what is the point of that? There is none. John O'Brien does the right thing and says TKO victory for undefeated Tavoris Cloud. Shannon, you impressed? Very impressed. And I'm sure the people in Quincy and Tallahassee are as well. Look at that left eye of Julio Gonzalez. Olympian in 96. Three times fought for the world title, held a slice of it. And now, here in the autumn of his career, faces a young tiger with the tiger print trucks who roared and lunged and pounced on his opponent tonight. A 28 to 4 connect advantage in the 10th round. Punch track fight recap to Voris Cloud landing 212 headshots against the veteran Julio Gonzalez. Shannon, let's take a look back at the action from Cloud. Nice. Big left hooks, jumping in, right, straight, straight right hands, uppercuts. He does it all. I'd like to see him jab a little bit more, but he does it all. He had Gonzalez hurt in round one, then here in round five and six. We thought the fight may end there in the middle of this, but finally getting to him in round number 10.
Time and time again, it was the right hand, and obviously the condition with the eye of Gonzalez, he was going to eat more and more of those right hands. So referee John O'Brien says, that's it. I've seen enough. I think it was a very fine stoppage by the referee, a timely stoppage to put an end to the punishment that Julio Gonzalez was willing to take. And to make it official, we send it up to the ring to Steve Corbo. Ladies and gentlemen, no need to go to the judges' scorecards on this one. Your referee, John O'Brien, calls a halt to this bout at 2 minutes and 50 seconds of the 10th round. Your winner by TKO. And now, the IBF number one rated light heavyweight in the world and the mandatory challenger to the IBF light heavyweight championship. see if that materializes you know the business of boxing but nonetheless Tavoris Cloud now 19-0 with 18 knockouts